Once upon a time, there was a purple dragon stuck in the land of mere imagination. This dragon began to cry, Help! Help! I want out of here! I want to become real! The dragon had no idea how to become real, but he knew it was possible. His friend, Blue Smurf, had just returned from the land of the real. Purple Dragon stared into Blue Smurf's eyes and asked, How did you do it? How did you get into the land of the real? Blue Smurf replied, Honestly, I have no idea. I just remember being fully alive. I was completely free from the script of anyone's imagination. I don't know how I got there. After the fire took over our village, I popped back here. Purple Dragon then got an idea. Maybe I can think my way into reality. I just have to wish for it hard enough. Blue Smurf chewed on the dragon's idea. After swallowing, he spoke. I'm sorry, my friend, but I don't see how thinking will get you out of here. Your thoughts are not even real. How can something that is not real make you into something that is real? Trickles of smoke began to emerge from Purple Dragon's nose. Then he spoke again. If you, Blue Smurf, can become real, then I can become real. The only question is how? Blue Smurf thought with his eyes. He said, perhaps you must wait to see if something real will make you real. Purple Dragon groaned. What if nothing ever decides to make me real? There is another possibility, Blue Smurf replied. Perhaps you could become real randomly, without any source at all, at any moment. This thought gave Purple Dragon some hope. Could that be possible? Dragon wondered. Blue Smurf continued, There is a book of reason which governs all lands, imaginary and real. In this book, I found a page called Impossible Leaps. He read a few lines. A square cannot leap into a circle. A napkin cannot leap into a number. He raised his eyes. I see no line here about leaping out of the land of imagination. As far as the Book of Reason is concerned, it seems anything in our land could become real, with or without a source. Suddenly, Purple Dragon froze. Then, after a timeless moment, he vanished. Eons of timelessness later, Purple Dragon popped back again. He exclaimed, You won't believe where I just was. I was in the land of the real. I was so alive and free. My dear Purple Dragon, Blue Smurf said, while you were gone, I discovered something very interesting from the Book of Reason. What is it? Dragon asked. Smurf spoke with thoughts, saying, There are many more pages in that book than I realized. Remember the Impossible Leaps page? That was just the beginning of an infinite chapter. I haven't finished reading that chapter yet, but I already found something amazing. Go on, said the dragon. Here, on page Omega-22, there is a glowing line that reads, The Book of Reason is a gateway that permeates all lands. I'm not quite sure what that means, but look underneath. There is a bridge labeled Necessary Existence. Four pillars uphold this bridge. What is most interesting about this bridge is that inside of it is a proof of the existence of something that cannot leave the land of reality. Would you like to see? Purple Dragon peered closer at the first pillar. It read, Whatever can become real can be caused to become real. A note on the side clarified that the word can means consistent with the necessary truths of reason. Purple Dragon exclaimed, Hey, this thought reminds me of your earlier suggestion, that anything in our land could become real, with or without a source. Blue Smurf commented, Yes, if reason allows any of us to become real without a source, then reason equally allows any of us to become real with a source. No truth of reason rules that out. They then looked together at the second pillar. It read, Contingency can become real. As their eyes touched the words, a fuller explanation entered their minds. No truth of reason forbids a beginning of all contingent things. As far as reason is concerned, there could have been an original event in which contingent things, things that do not exist of necessity, first appeared in the land of reality. No truth of reason rules that out. 
eyes shifted to pillar three. It read, no contingent thing can cause contingency to become real. A fuller explanation appeared. Nothing can cause itself to be real. A blue ball cannot make there be blue balls unless there is already a blue ball. Similarly, a contingent thing cannot make there be contingent things unless contingency is already real. Then a side note appeared. It is part of the intended meaning of the term cause, that a cause exists prior to its effect. Each pillar stands with this understanding in mind. Then they looked together at the final pillar, which said this, a logical possibility cannot be a logical impossibility. Purple Dragon looked puzzled. Those are strange pillars. What do they have to do with necessary existence? Suddenly, the story of Purple Dragon and Blue Smurf collapsed into oblivion. Fortunately, not all was lost. The proof you are about to see on your screen has leaped out of the land of imagination. Whether this presentation has an actual source or merely a possible source is a matter of speculation. Here for your consideration is an argument from possible causes for a necessarily existing thing. Pillar 1. Whatever can become real can be caused to become real. And remember, the term can there means consistent with the rules of reason. The necessary rules of reason. Pillar 2. Contingency can become real. Result. Therefore, contingency can be caused to become real. Pillar 3. No contingent thing can cause contingency to become real. Next result. Contingency can be caused to become real by something that is not contingent, namely something that has necessary existence. Therefore, there can be a necessary thing. Therefore, there is a necessary thing. This final step, which moves from possible existence to actual existence, is a relatively recent discovery in the history of human thought. So, for the technically inclined, here is a display of the reasoning behind that step. Feel free to pause the video to study this proof further. I offer this argument for you to play with. It's there for you to enjoy. I hope you enjoy it. 